Good morning, my people. Good morning for all of you who are celebrating Kwanzaa. Let me bring the good news. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your illustrious host, Khadija. Today we are going to talk about the fourth day, the fourth principle in Kwanzaa. Okay, for those of us who are celebrating Kwanzaa. Uh, we need to give you the principle today, something that you're going to focus on, something that you got to maintain in your subconscious and, well, in your consciousness to, to, uh, be aware of these principles for they are very powerful and have some real life changing, um, uh, uh um, thoughts. So we want to infuse them into us. And the fourth principle is Ujama. A Barigani family. And Ujama is cooperative economics. Okay, cooperative economics. To build and to maintain our own stores, shops, and other businesses. To profit from them together. See, this is principles. These are principles. These are mantras. These are things we should live by as a culture, just like all the other cultures. When you go to Chinatown or little Koreatown or little Italy, I mean, these are the things we don't have um, what we celebrate Juneteenth. What the hell is that? So we need to do something, I believe, based on these principles that we have been discussing and that is our celebration, not what somebody else tells us we can celebrate, okay? Um, so, I think it's really important that um, we can have a song of reflection, We're a Winner by Curtis Mayfield. Moving on up, Lord have mercy, we're moving on up. <laughs> Thought for the day, Angela Davis, the autobiography. Wow, this was my first introduction to class differences of, of people among my own. Uh, we, we're the not so poor until my experiences at school. I believe that everyone else lived the way I did. We always had three good meals a day. I had summer clothes and winter clothes, everyday dresses and a few Sunday dresses. When holes began to wear through the soles of my shoes, Although I may have worn them with pasteboard for a short time, we would eventually went, go downtown to select a new pair. The family income was earned by both my mother and my father. Before I was born, my father had taken advantage of his hard-earned college degree from St. Augustine's in Raleigh, North Carolina to secure a position teaching history at Parker High School. But life was specifically difficult during those years. His salary was close to nothing, as money could be. So, with his meager savings, he began to buy a service station in the black section of downtown Birmingham. My mother, who, like my father, came from very humble backgrounds, also worked her way through college and got a job teaching in the Birmingham Elementary School System. The combined salaries were nothing to boast about, yet enough to strive on, and much more than was earned by a typical Southern black family. They had managed to save enough to buy the old house on the hill, but they had to rent out the upstairs for years to make the mortgage payments. And until I went to school, I did not know that this was a stunning accomplishment. Yeah. And um, I can share that with Angela Davis um, because I never knew that the older I get, the more respect um, I have for my father and mother. Um, my father, at the time, you couldn't vote. You couldn't even make a complaint against the police uh, back in the 60s and 
unless you were a homeowner. So, if you weren't a homeowner, you were not even allowed to make a complaint against the police. Which is a travesty. You think the cops are bad? I mean, no. I mean, well, imagine being in a situation where you can't even make a complaint unless you're a homeowner. And that gives them a lot of time to run amok. So my father wanted to make sure that he was a homeowner. He was 21 and my mother was 19. It's a very young couple. But they had a focus. And um, just like most of the people that experienced that kind of discrimination and, and um, retribution from the dominant society, they worked twice as hard or they became twice as educated to be able to leave, live somewhat of a different life and um, to be able to be homeowners. You know, and that's very interesting that they would even set up a damn law like that, you know? I mean, just think about that. I'm not even able to make a complaint. So, you know, be grateful for where we are today in society. So today's recipe can be a pink party punch, okay? Um, that's a pound of cam can right olive drained, of course. A teaspoon, a teaspoon, blah, 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 a tablespoon of dried thyme, a teaspoon of minced garlic, a teaspoon of minced fresh habanero or other hot chili uh, to taste, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, salt and ground groundly. Of fresh black pepper to taste. Place the frozen strawberries in the bowl of, uh, of a blender and the food processor and blend until they are liquid, you know, or a fruit food processor. I'm sorry. Place the strawberries and all the remaining ingredients in a large pitcher. Add the ginger ale, the ice, and stir. And just serve, serve, serve. Tell me how you like it. And it's called the party punch. Pink party punch, by the way. Um, and so with the children, how about we have an activity? If you could create something to help people in your community, what would it be? Design and draw it. I mean, you can get ideas like during her life, Madam C.J. Walker wanted to uh, other black women like herself to feel beautiful and be able to take good care of their hair. But there weren't many healthy hair products available to black women at the time. So Madam C.J. Walker designed her own. She started a successful hair care business and hired other black women to work with her to share items like creams, oils, shampoos all over the United States. Ujama Cooperative Economics Amazing Madam C.J. Walker Wow And uh, she did She showed her Ujama That principle In, in, in motion it's an action word, okay? So, shout out to the day, today's principal, Ujama, Cooperative Economics, and let's focus and marinate on that principle today, family. I'll see you with the next principal tomorrow.